Hey, my name is P. Daniel. Um, I am chosen. I'm chosen. I'm chosen. Who are you? <laughs> you know, I saw that trend yesterday and I was like, I need to say something about this. You know, uh, and this conversation is actually for those believers that believe that the foolishness of God is wiser than men. And those are the people I'm talking to. So, um, I, I had to go and search and I saw the testimonies and many other things and I saw the comment, what people said and all that. Now, I'm not saying that is the old truth and I'm not saying it's a lie. But I want to ask you a few questions and I want you to think about it. So, if you are if you are driving and then I'm robber accosted you on the road and all you remember is to shout Jesus and you start driving, you decide not to stop and they are shooting your car, shooting your tire and then you are just shouting Jesus. You are, you are in the car with your wife and your children and you are like, <clears throat> that's supposed to look like maybe your death sentence, you know, but you are driving Jesus, Jesus, your children are shouting Jesus and then you are, you are just driving and then you, you start to move ahead and you got to a safe space and you came down. You were already afraid. You looked at the car, no single scratch, no single bullet. You look at your children, they are safe. You look at your wife, they are safe. What will you do? Will you say, ha, ah, no, this is Lamba, I must die. My children should have died by now. Are you saying that God cannot protect you? If that happens to you, will you say it's a lie, then you will now drive back to the armed robbers and say, please shoot me, it must enter. Shoot us, it must enter. Also, what if you are accosted by kidnappers and they decide to butcher you and they put the cutlass on your head and the cutlass did not enter? You also, Jesus and the cutlass did not penetrate and say, What kind of statement is it? Take this one back, take this one back. We say, No, no, I must die. I must die. Put this cutlass must enter my neck. I must die. You see, supernatural interventions are real. Now, mind you, in the Bible, supernatural interventions. They don't happen every day. They are called interventions. For example, the raven feeding Elijah happened once. Philip being carried by the spirit from where he was to Azontos happened once. Jesus walking on water happened once. You see, any supernatural you mock, you delist yourself from experiencing it. Do you want to die? So if arm robbers came at you and they shot you, and then the bullet did not penetrate. Will you say, no, it must penetrate, I must die now? Or will you say, Father, thank you? Now, you know you did not know you will not die. But suddenly you discover that you are alive. What will you do? Don't despise supernatural. Now, and I think that believers need to, believer needs to now go and some of the believers have mocked that process. You need to ask God for mercy. Because... What you have done is that you have removed yourself from the possibility of assessing that supernatural. I am trusting God for supernatural intervention. I don't want to be wasted. What is the advantage of the Holy Ghost? Now, let me say this to you. On campus, I saw courtesy. They did something they called Okibe or something. And then cutlass cannot enter their body. You stab them, it won't enter. I don't know you know about Okibe. And I've, I've seen, I've heard about, it. this is a Zakaba group, whereby they put this on their neck, then you shot them, the bullets are dropping. It's not only happening in movies. It happens really like, you, you see police officers and then and the and the courtes guys they'll be shooting themselves and then the, the bullet will not enter so if if devil can can be that powerful so god is weak that he can't do supernatural i mean or you they kidnap your children they kidnap your wife they kidnap maybe you and then you guys are just crying and say lord save us then suddenly you meet yourself on the expressway do you want to die in kidnappers then are you saying god cannot intervene is that what you are saying to me? I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying, but I'm saying that can't it happen to you? Because I remember Peter was in the prison, he was released. In the, in the Bible we read, Paul and Silas were in the prison. Supernaturally, they were released. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego entered fire. They were not burnt. So, are you saying to me that God cannot intervene in your case? I want supernatural intervention. I want supernatural intervention in my life. I want it. Now, mind you, this doesn't happen every day. It's not, a, it's not something like... But I'm saying to you that it is possible that God can intervene in your life. I want such interventions in my life. I don't want to die like a chicken. I want God to preserve my family. Uh, somebody said a man gave a testimony that he was on the bridge and then there was a trailer was coming forward and then his car was small and they were supposed to have an air-done collision and then supernaturally the trailer moved and then his car moved 
uh, and then the only definition to that is that maybe the, the bridge expanded. You see, it's a lie. It's lumber. If you are face to face with the trailer, and, and do you want to die and say, ah, what is that? And then you face it and then you die. Do you want to die? If God supernaturally expanded the bridge and the trailer moved and you moved, will you say, no, I must die today. I must die today. Ah, this is not possible. This cannot happen. Are you telling me that you don't want supernatural intervention in your life? Don't let us talk down on the things we don't understand. Believers, I told you this is those who believe that the foolishness of God is just an amen. Any supernatural you mock, you remove yourself from experiencing it. If somebody said that it was in the midst of armed robbers, they shot him, he didn't enter, and then you say it's a lie. If you are face to face with armed robber, and then they want to shoot you, just say, be ready to die, because you don't believe that God can preserve you. They want to cut off your head. The cutlass did not enter. You get ready that by one, by one, your head is on the floor. But I believe in the supernatural intervention of God. We cannot boast of this. Ah, me, I have Okide. I have a, a, a Odeshi. I have this one. We can't boast of it. But we can boast of the ability of God that when it is most dangerous, the Lord can show up for us. When things are tough, the Lord can show up for us. The Lord can supernaturally show up for us. It's possible that what you have that is not enough will be more than enough for you. Supernatural intervention. Think about it.